In today's video, we are going to talk about the life history of Bulelua Moko to Kana. And we are going to talk about her childhood, career, death surrounding her, the events surrounding her death and reasons behind her drinking, reasons behind her addiction and drinking. So be sure to watch this video till the end and do not skip anything and be sure to leave your comments down below on the comment section. We shall really, really appreciate it. And Bulelua Mukutukana, but let's use the name Zahara because this is the name that it's known, popularly known out there. Zahara was born in the year 1987 in a place popularly known as East Cape in South Africa and she has been raised both by the mom and the dad and the time that she was born she had six siblings at the time that she was born and when in childhood she had this passion in music while she was still a young kid out there she had this passion in music and she could go on on street to sing music with her guitar and even without the guitar on the streets and people could give her money just because she is singing on the streets and you know people are happy to to see a kid has a good talent of singing, you know, to see a kid have, you know, the aggressiveness of singing on the streets and people are looking at her. So she started making money while, you know, just being a kid through the music that she was singing on the streets. When the parents realized that, you know, she had this passion for music they took her to a music school where actually she was being trained to you know play guitar and learn the instrument called a guitar that's when the passion of music grew stronger and stronger and this is the dad that you are seeing you know on the screen this is zahara's dad and the parents they were so supportive of her both the mom and the dad and this is the mom that you are seeing on the screen both the mother and the dad they were so supportive of her music learning that among the six siblings that Sahara had it is not only her that she was singing even her elder brother who died whom we shall come you know talk about later in the video was so passionate you know about the music so the talent of you know being musicians led you know through the blood of zahara's family you guys as you're continuing with this video you can just let us know what you think about you know zahara's life history as you're continuing with this video in several interviews zahara have spoke about her elder sister acting as you know her mom you know who died the elder sister died in the year 2021 and this thing actually stressed her the sister was hit by a minibus taxi just after she had you know some car trouble while driving back from work you know and that's when the incident incident happened and this is the sister her sister that you're seeing on the screen not only you know she called her as you know her mom but actually she really really acted as the elder sister may her soul rest in eternal peace in the year 20 2011 is the year that Bulelo Mukotukana released her first album popularly known as Loliwe and in just 13 days you know the you know the album had a double platinum and in within 17 days he sold over 100,000 copies 
the album got so many wins and one of the wins that you know Zahara got from that album Loli win is she got the best female artist of the year she got single you know of the year she got a local song of the year she got best album of the year she got ring back of the year and actually those are so many women she got from just one album and that is Loliwe that is her sister that you're seeing on the screen and let's speak about the albums that you know uh, Zahara have released uh, we've spoke about Loliwe she released in the year 2011 uh, in, tw in the year 2013 she released Fendola in the year 2017 uh, Zahara released an album album called Country Girl which is so so famous in the year 2021 she released Kamba Yum in the year 2012 she released you know Big Nam and that actually also it is so popular album you know and these albums they are the ones that it has made Zahara to be so popular in South Africa and let's move to reasons behind her bad drinking and Zahara's her bad drinking came when her the her blood brother died and the brother was you know found with a multiple gunshots wounds with neighborhood there in East London and this thing Zahara since her brother died she decided to heal from it through drinking because actually her brother was a role model to her and he was the one who gave her you know a guitar to start singing and this thing actually it hit her so badly also the main reason caused by his death was he was murdered this thing actually made Zahara to start drinking and since her brother died is the time that she started drinking and that is the time that she was addicted to drinking she decided to heal from this you know pain of losing a brother through drinking you know others go to therapists others you know heal by different ways talking a lot keeping quiet but she healed she decided to heal from it by drinking and we know that zahara she had been warned by a doctor that she should stop continuing drinking because her liver was continuing you know to be ruined it is just two weeks ago that zahara was admitted to the hospital just because her liver she had complications with her liver and she was diagnosed with liver cirrhosis which is caused by excessive consumption of alcohol which led to her death and despite this drinking of you know her being caused by the death of her brother other netizens are speculating zahara was not liked there in south africa and she was fought by so many people so many djs so many producers didn't want her because she had so you know she had won so many awards and other people they were jealous of her and also this add up to Zahara continuous drinking of alcohol. What do you guys think of this whole situation? What do you guys think of this whole events surrounding Zahara's death? Please be sure to leave your comments down below in the comment section. What do you guys think of this whole situation? Because we are seeing her death. It has just been led by being stressed up, being depressed by her brother's death and also her you know continuous drinking of alcohol it was caused by other people who she was working in you know with uh, the likes of DJs producers you know that these people they were jealous of her of her moves of her wins and that's why she chose to drink 
alcohol. Let's speak about the deaths that it is surrounding Zahara after her death. And South African bank called Net Bank it is opting to auction her house in Johannesburg after she failed to pay you know 1.9 million loan and also her Range Rover it has also been opted to be auctioned by Net Bank and as you can see she was in huge Dead. What are your opinions about this whole issue? You, you guys, please drop your comments, drop your feedbacks down below in the comment section. What do you guys think about this whole situation, this whole death, this whole event surrounding, you know, the death of, you know, Zahara's singer? Please leave a comment and if you like the video, you can just smash the like button. And also for the returning subs, you love it so much. Thank you for always coming back. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you can just hit that subscribe button below. And for the returning subs, we love you so much. And see you in our next video. We love you. Bye-bye.